This is the GDC Money Clip. It holds your cash, up to five cards, and a 1.75 inch fine edge stainless steel blade. At just 3.6 total inches, the Money Clip fits easily into your pocket. When you need the blade, just grab the ring, release the lock, and pull. The thumb notch ensures a solid hold that won't budge. After you're done, the blade snaps back into the super sturdy steel sheath shielded by a G10 composite plate. This is function, utility, and style in your pocket. This is the GDC Money Clip.
Designed inside and out specifically for welders, the innovative BSX Extreme Welders Gear Pack by Black Stallion allows you to comfortably and securely transport, organize, and store your important welding gear. Secured with a dual zipper top, the large interior space includes pockets, pouches, and straps to hold and organize your hammers, brushes, locking pliers, and other tools. A zippered flap can hold identification and additional documents. There's even room for your welding jacket and other protective garments. Large exterior mesh pockets hold gloves or other items, and the webbing straps above each mesh pocket can be used to clip on additional gear. A truly unique feature found only on the BSX Gear Pack is the helmet catch. The padded helmet catch makes protecting and transporting your helmet a snap. The five-point adjustable rigging system holds the helmet securely in place, while the quick-release clips provide easy access. The BSX Gear Pack provides a couple of carry options. You can use the riveted reinforced top handle with rubberized grip for sturdy and comfortable transporting or use the comfortable padded ergonomic straps with sternum clip to wear the BSX gear pack as a backpack. The BSX Extreme Welders gear pack is packaged flat to set the rigid bottom panel, open the gear pack, remove the contents, locate the rigid bottom panel and push it in place. When you open your BSX gear pack, you'll find a couple of nice surprises inside, a free lunch cooler and a free utility carabiner. Designed for storage, organization, and transportation of a welder's helmet, tools, and other gear, the BSX Extreme Welders Gear Pack by Black Stallion is ideal for welding students, pipe welders, contract welders, and others. Order today! The Sharp Owl 6-in-1 Knife Sharpener and Survival Tool is the must-have item for your outdoor lifestyle. It features two V-notch sharpening slots, a tapered diamond rod for serrated edges and gut hooks with a special groove for fish hooks, a fire starter, and a high-pitched emergency whistle. First, let's look at the number one tungsten carbide sharpener. The tungsten carbide sharpener is for coarse sharpening and quick edge setting to help restore your double beveled straight edge blade in several strokes. The arrow shows the proper direction for pulling the blade through. Make sure that the sharpener is on a flat surface and that the blade is inserted fully and vertically into the sharpening slot at a 90 degree angle to the sharpener and that the cutting edge line is parallel to the flat surface. Then pull the full length of the blade through from heel to tip. The tungsten carbide material and the optimum preset sharpening angle is fast and effective. Then switch over to the number two ceramic sharpener for fine honing. This will polish the blade to a finished edge in several strokes. The Sharp Owl 6-in-1 also features a tapered diamond rod. This is perfect for sharpening serrations and gut hooks. Simply slide the rod back and forth several times on the area you wish to sharpen using medium firm pressure. An added feature on this rod is the special groove engineered for sharpening fish hooks. Another impressive feature is the integrated fire starter. When your matches are wet or your lighter runs out of gas, this can be a lifesaver. Just remove the rod and pull it quickly and firmly across the tungsten carbide blades. This will give you the spark you need to ignite your tinder and start your fire. Finally, the 6-in-1 includes a built-in emergency whistle. This is perfect for long-distance communication in the wilderness, whether it's your hiking party, your hunting dog, or even a rescue team. It emits a high-pitched blast that can be heard from very far away. and the reflective band on the side can be used as an emergency signal mirror. The Sharp Owl 6-in-1 Knife Sharpener and Survival Tool. Sharp Owl, giving you the edge. Uline's S14249 Denema Cut Resistant Gloves help keep your hands cool and comfortable all day long. The S14249 Denema Gloves protect workers' hands from cuts, scrapes, and lacerations keeping them safe, reducing injury claims and lost time. The S14249 features a 13-gauge Denema liner that keeps your hands cool in warm environments. They also feature a polyurethane palm coating, which provides great flexibility, dexterity, abrasion resistance, and offers a firm grip in dry and wet applications. The S14249 U-Line Denema glove provides an ANSI cut level A2 and abrasion resistance level 6 protection. 
Everyday tasks like cutting open boxes and working outdoors in hot environments are more safe and comfortable when using Denema cut resistant gloves. Whatever your safety needs are, you can rely on Uline to have the solution. Adventure Force V-Twin. Do you like to play war games with your friends or kids? Well, we have good news for you. Now you don't have to waste more time reloading and searching for bullets in the grass. V-Twin by Adventure Force can make your playing time more comfortable. It's a fully automatic weapon with a rotating barrel. Its belt holds 30 rounds of ammo. You will now have more time to have fun and spend less time doing boring things, all thanks to the Adventure Force V-Twin. It'll cost you 30 bucks. Projects Turning any room in the house into an impromptu battlefield isn't that hard if you just have the right toys at hand. And with projects, you won't even have to use your imagination. The system consists of a couple of blasters and a projector that displays moving images on the wall. The player's goal is hitting the targets in time. Special sensors read the blaster's movements and show the number of hits on the projector screen. The developers offer five interesting built-in games, each of which will test your reaction speed and accuracy. The set costs $50. Cryo VR Ever since the appearance of video games, people wanted to fully immerse themselves in the virtual world. And although VR glasses have brought gamers closer to their dream, they still don't offer a realistic enough experience. About 10 years ago, the American company YEI Technology began working on this problem. Its engineers created a special headset for gamers that allow them to feel everything their character experiences. Of course, the system is not perfect, and it won't help you hear smells or feel the recoil of a gun, but it will allow you to control the character's movements with your own body. The manufacturer offers several models of Pryo VR, but let's take a look at the most advanced version. It has 17 sensors, which are fixed on the body with special straps. When the game is on, your movements are read and transmitted to the game. The gamer can wave their arms, kick, walk or run, crawl, jump, look out from behind an obstacle and more. You'll have to pay $280, $310 or $400 for Pryo VR, depending on the number of sensors in the set. Blaster Boards the main rule of war games is that the more obstacles and shelters there are on the battlefield, the more interesting and fascinating the action will be. But even if your backyard is a huge empty space, there are products that can help you have more fun. You just need to get a hold of a set of blaster boards to fix the problem. This is a construction set of many lightweight square tiles. You can connect them to create walls, elevations, arches and more. If you're up to it, you can even build a shelter that looks like a house with windows or a huge castle with towers. In any case, it'll take you no more than half an hour to build a single structure. The tiles are made of durable, non-toxic plastic. The manufacturer offers a total of four sets. The smallest with 46 parts costs $55. The largest set has 276 parts and it's priced at $330. Soft Bullet Shotgun This toy weapon is painted in bright, eye-catching colors, which will certainly cheer up your child. However, the appearance is not the only feature of this weapon. The gun comes with two kinds of ammunition. The first one looks like rifle cartridges and goes straight into the barrel. The other kind, which are smaller bullets, are loaded into the magazine case, allowing you to play more. 
The model has a functional trigger, as well as a sliding front grip for reloading. All in all, this is an example of a simple, versatile toy, which will cost you a couple of dollars, but will please you for a very, very long time. The toy gun is made of a sturdy, non-toxic plastic. Paper Shooters You might think that playing war is not a very proper entertainment for children. However, in fact, it offers a lot more benefits than it may seem at first glance. With their toy guns, children spend more time outdoors, get their daily dose of healthy exercise, and socialize. Except, getting hit with standard toy bullets often leads to bruises. That's why American inventor Mike Howarth decided to create a safer alternative. That's how paper shooters appeared. It's a rifle that shoots paper ammo, eliminating the possibility of injury. They're made of natural paper, don't crumble, and leave no excess waste. They're also 100% biodegradable, unlike harmful plastic bullets. In addition, Paper Shooters is amazingly realistic and can perform two different functions. First, the 124-piece weapon comes unassembled, which means that the user will build the gun on their own. And once it's assembled, you can start playing and shooting your enemies. The shooting radius is 20 meters, which is about as long as a bowling lane. All of this for only $45. Gel Blasters And here is another toy weapon, developed with the idea of creating safer ammunition. But the developers went much further and came up with a truly unique product. To understand why gel blasters are so good, you need to remember the products that you can find in an average toy store. In most cases, the weapon is sold without ammunition, and one package of 500 paintballs costs $20 or $25. Now take a look at a bag of gelets. They're several times smaller. They cost about $7, but at the same time, just think about this. There are 10,000 rounds of ammunition in one bag. That's about as much as 20 of these big bags of ammunition. How did this happen? The developers of Gel Blasters reduced the cost of packaging and delivery by reducing the size. The gelets in the tiny bag are dry, and you need a bucket of water and two hours of time to get them ready. The blaster itself, which shoots gelets, costs $60. Its battery power lasts for four to five hours. It's noteworthy that the bullets travel at a speed of 45 meters per second, but the soft gel doesn't cause discomfort, and that is probably the most important thing. Nintendo Labo you don't have to buy complex, high-tech gadgets to immerse yourself in the world of virtual reality. In fact, even a piece of cardboard can be used to play, and that's exactly what Nintendo decided to do. This is an interactive platform for the Nintendo Switch. It offers modular sheets of cardboard that make it easy to assemble accessories that can enliven any game. You can build an RC car, a fishing rod, a house, a motorcycle, a piano with 13 keys, a gun, a camera, and much more. One set of five modules costs $80. Iron Man Glove Finally, the last toy on our list today allows you to turn an impromptu battlefield into a colorful scene from your favorite comic book. That's because it's a detail from the Iron Man armor. More exactly, a repulsor with three projectiles. It costs $17. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours.
people have been taking comfort in Honeywell technology for more than a hundred years. We've made air travel safer, road travel more efficient, and helped put a man on the moon. Today, our Lyric Wi-Fi thermostat means you can take comfort too. Knowing your home temperature will always be just how you like it. It's easy to install and use, and it fits your lifestyle. So you can program it based on your schedule or let it adapt to your life as plans change. It knows when you're on your way home and how long it takes your home to reach the right temperature. Removing the guesswork, saving you money on your energy bills. It knows if your home needs heating or cooling, keeping you and your family comfortable, whatever the weather. And because it works with the latest smart technology, including Apple HomeKit and Amazon Echo, you can control all your home comforts wherever you are, now and for years to come. The Honeywell Lyric Wi-Fi Thermostat. Comfort, savings, life, perfectly in tune. That's the sound of your phone connecting to a charger. It's the sound of relief, knowing you are still connected to the world. Connecting and disconnecting your phone from a charger should be a simple, seamless task, but it isn't. We've all been there, frustrated at our cables for any number of reasons. Despite cable tips becoming smaller, they haven't evolved to become any easier to connect until now. cameras and speakers. The other is for Apple products. We've removed the weakness of your traditional Apple Lightning connector tip, which snaps off easily by combining the tip and base into one piece. We call this the Alpha Connector. One of the engineering hurdles in designing ASAP Connect was its compact size. By condensing the technology down to the size of a fingertip, we're able to make sure that it's compatible with all phone cases. In creating a new standard for USB cables, we have performed the most stringent quality control tests, combined with superior materials, to really challenge the user's expectations of what a state-of-the-art USB cable should be. 
We've spent the past two years working closely with one of the world's largest USB cable manufacturers. We're a team of disruptors from Sydney to LA who believe that users should be the creators of products, not large corporations seeking profit over practicality. We've created the final prototypes and delivered samples to dozens of major tech publications worldwide. Through your help, combined with the magic of Indiegogo, we hope to bring ASAP Connect to life and unleash the future of USB cables today. The Hard Floor Furniture Moving Kit is the all-in-one kit for moving furniture and protecting hard floor surfaces. The 3.5 inch and 5 inch round felt sliders may be used under large pieces of furniture, such as sofas, love seats, large tables, cabinets, and more. Tilt and place sliders under each leg or corner. Just simply push or pull your furniture across hard surfaces such as tile and hardwood floors. Felt sliders are designed with two unique sides. The foam padded side keeps a firm grip on what you're moving, and a heavy duty felt side that protects your floors and hard surfaces from any damage. Four inch carpet based caster cups are perfect for protecting floors from scratches and dings due to casters. One inch and one and a half inch felt pads are included in the kit as a free bonus to protect smaller pieces of furniture and houseware, such as a table and chair set. Lightly sand the object's leg or corner, wipe with alcohol, and let dry for a few minutes. Then simply peel and stick. Super Slider's heavy-duty felt and adhesive is the best on the market. Spring cleaning, redecorating, moving, getting ready for the holidays. Everything is easy with the Hard Floor Furniture Moving Kit. Outdoors, a brand you can trust to bring you packs designed with a dedicated hunter in mind. When quality, durability, and a comfortable fit are as important as landing your next trophy. Whether you're hunting elk out west or turkeys in the Midwest, Alps Outdoors has a pack to make your quest more successful. Versatile, modular, practical outdoors packs get you where you need to go everywhere, every time. Alps Outdoors. BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100 The Vision Next 100 concept was unveiled to almost unanimous praise in Los Angeles in 2016. It was well-deserved praise as the Vision Next 100 blends all the stylings of a vehicle from the future with a characteristic BMW flair. Continuing the current trend of environmentally friendly products, the Vision Next produces no emissions and features a unique self-balancing design that makes this motorcycle a joy to ride. It presents a unique opportunity for safer rides for beginners as well as a more dynamic riding experience for experts, since they no longer have to focus so much of their attention on trying to keep the bike steady. Another feature of the Vision Next 100 is the interaction between the rider and the environment via the visor a convenient piece of technology that captures relevant information from the surroundings and projects it directly into the rider's field of vision. Yamaha Motoroid 
In the year 2040, human transport will be radically different. In fact, we project that your daily driver may just resemble the Yamaha Motoroid. This futuristic motorcycle is a concept vehicle which has AI as its main attraction. It was inspired by the Japanese concept of Kando, a deep spiritual feeling of inspiration and satisfaction. Its sleek design well complements this aesthetic, as the Motoroid features chrome battery cells that look like canisters beneath the rider seat, as well as a haptic human-machine interface that wraps around the hips and adds to the riding experience. On the tech side, the Motoroid features an image recognition AI system, Yamaha's exclusive AMSES self-balancing technology, as well as a self-driving technology that gives you the ability to call for the Motoroid to come to you and follow you. Lazarus LMV 496 the Lazarus LMV 496 will bring your interest in motorcycle riding back from the dead. This unique motorcycle can transform into a flying vehicle from a motorcycle and vice versa. Although the term flying might be a bit of a misnomer as this motorcycle can only hover about 3.3 feet above the ground, the LMV 496 makes up for it with 496,000 RPM Jet Cat turbines, which provide about 529 pounds of thrust. It has a kerosene tank that provides enough fuel to lift the Lazarus for a few breathtaking minutes, while the dashboard gives you all the relevant flight information you need to enjoy these moments to the fullest. If you like the thought of Lazarus assisted flight, you may want to start saving up, as only five copies of the LMV 496 will ever be made, and each unit costs a whopping half a million dollars to purchase. Kawasaki J Concept The Kawasaki J Concept made its debut at the 2013 Tokyo Motor Show, where it captivated audience with its unique design and forward-thinking approach to engineering. This three-wheeled, battery-powered transforming vehicle resembles a Star Trek prop, with its unique ability to transform into various riding positions and its sharp, aggressive styling, reminiscent of Kawasaki motorcycles. The J Concept offers riders a choice of different riding positions, a comfort mode which is popular with users who prefer a more upright stance, and the attack mode designed for users with a more aggressive style of riding. These different positions are enabled by changes in rear angle, step position and handle position, and the J Concept also features two separate handlebars, which function for each front wheel, as well as a heads-up display and adjustable ride modes. Neutron Bike If you're a movie enthusiast and you found yourself watching Tron Legacy with a wistful air, well, this might be the day your dreams come true. You can now ride Tron Bike in real life, and what's even better is that it is street legal. Created by the Parker Brothers, the Neutron Bike is an amazing reimagining of the light cycle, and it features a steel chassis wrapped around an electric mill and covered in high-grade aero carbon fiber bodywork. To get the characteristic lighting, electroluminescent strips are attached to the lines and rims of the motorcycle, while a 96-volt motor and lithium-ion batteries gives this vehicle the light cycle's blinding speed. These batteries charge at light speed, reaching full capacity in less than 40 minutes and giving the rider a range of 100 miles. You can purchase a standard version of the Neutron at prices starting from $55,000. BMW Alpha The BMW Alpha is the premier motorcycle in its class. It is the product of the mind and hands of Mehmet Doruk Erdem and Mark Atkinson 
and it well reflects the expertise of these two masters. It features a sleek rolling chassis that expands upon the theme of clean lines and aerodynamic design, and other parts of the motorcycle are put together with care and precision that could only be intentional. The bodywork is handmade and the brakes and shifter were both customized to fit perfectly into this new design. Other impressive features include a center hub pivot as well as a bell crank steering system and a hand machined aluminum linkage. If you're the type of rider with a need for speed, a turbo booster is also available to support the K75's 740cc inline three-cylinder BMW engine. BMW Motorrad Concept Link The BMW Motorrad Concept Link made its debut at the Competition of Elegance of Villa d'Est in 2017, and it immediately struck audiences with its redefinition of the concept of urban mobility. It was created to link the digital and analog world and combine the concepts of driving and communications into one wholesome package. The Concept Link works with the use of a touch-sensitive display panel, which projects all relevant information to the driver's field of vision, and an electric motor and energy packs attached to the back wheel and under floor respectively. You also get extra storage space between the seat and the bottom of the scooter, accessible through a sliding door near the seat. Honda Riding Assist The Honda Riding Assist is one of the brightest stars of the new age. It made its debut at the 45th Tokyo Motor Show to near-universal acclaim, and it features an innovative self-balancing technology which works with assistive robotic technology to give riders the most comfortable ride possible on a motorcycle. Thanks to this technology, the Honda Riding Assist can help relieve some of the stress associated with driving in heavy traffic, and it is especially helpful in ultra-low speed situations which test a rider's ability to balance. The Honda Riding Assist represents the company's latest attempt to create vehicles in line with its vision of enjoying the freedom of mobility in a carbon-free society. Full Moon. This vehicle earns its spot on this list for several reasons. The first of which is the phenomenal reception it got as it was unveiled by Akrapovic at the Bad Salzuflen Custom Bike Show in Germany. It was created as a collaboration between Slovenian Dream Machine Motorcycles and Akrapovic, and it features a very distinct 30 inch front wheel made from aluminum and carbon, which gives the bike its name. The Full Moon is powered by an SNS Knucklehead 1524cc engine with two modified custom made Akrapovic exhausts. Note that there is no separate exhaust system here as it is all part of the bodywork from frame to body. Everything is made of sheet metal with fully automated steering, which has no visible cables. Dodge Tomahawk. The Dodge Tomahawk is a non-street legal concept vehicle which made its debut at the 2003 North American International Auto Show. It has a very unique appearance, as its outsized displacement 10-cylinder car engine and its four close coupled wheels may take some getting used to. It features an exciting independent suspension on all four wheels, designed to allow the rider to counter steer and lean into turns. And it is powered by a 500 horsepower 8.3 liter V10 SRT10 engine, repurposed from the Dodge Viper. The Tomahawk has been rumored to reach speeds of up to 420 miles an hour and 0 to 60 miles in about 2.5 seconds. 
Although these rumors have never really been fully substantiated, and the only verifiable speeds the Tomahawk has reached hover around 100 miles an hour, it is still one of the most promising concept vehicles to have come out in recent years. Designed to solve and avoid certain personal transportation problems, or just having fun, these bike inventions are going to make you rethink what a bike can be. Introducing the Cooter. It is a 399cc urban commuter bike with the freedom and agility of a two-wheeler and the ease and safety of a car. With its innovative patented hydraulic tilting system, HTS, the Cooter has a perfect response to all riding conditions. The HTS guarantees a simultaneous tilt of all wheels while maintaining perfect adherence to the ground. Priced at $24,000, the CUDA can cruise up to 90 km per hour and cover about 250 km on its 14-liter tank. Meet Kanguro. Developed at Chiba Institute of Technology in Japan, Kanguro is both a bike and an intelligent autonomous robot. It is also known as Ridroid Robot a mashup of Ride and Android. This 64 kilogram autonomous bike doesn't use a display to let the rider know the speed, but instead it generates pulses like heartbeats transmitted to the rider through the seat. Though the robot bike looks production ready, you may never find it on sale as it's just a research project. This is Wazuma V8M, a tailor-made vehicle produced by the renowned French bike maker, Lazarus. The Wazuma V8M boasts a supercharged 4.7 liter, 460 horsepower Italian V8 engine. To the ground, power transmission is provided by 315 mm Michelin tires for the back and 285 for the front, mounted on 18-inch OZ racing wheels. Approved by the French regulation authorities, the Wazuma V8M is produced in a limited series of only 10 numbered copies priced at $237,000. Introducing Biohybrid, strong, convenient, and fit for everyday use. This lightweight electric vehicle combines the freedom and agility of a bicycle and weather protection of a small car. It comes in two versions passenger and cargo, both with a top speed of 25 km per hour.
The passenger edition comes with a variable luggage compartment and additional storage space at the rear, whereas the cargo edition has a pickup bed that can accommodate a transport box of up to 1,500 liters of volume and 200 kilograms of payload. Meet Trigo. Unlike the biohybrid, Trigo is something between a motorbike and a car. Like a car, Trigo is equipped with four wheels, an enclosed cabin, a steering wheel, AC, backrest seats with seat belts, and even an airbag. Like a motorbike, Trigo is capable of leaning while cornering, so the driver feels like he or she is on a motorbike. To charge the vehicle, the user may choose to replace the battery with a charged one at Trigo's charging station. Introducing the Hydrofoiler XE1, the world's first hydrofoil e-bike to ride on the water. With its high maneuverability, this rugged, compact and lightweight water bike provides a workout similar to that of a road or mountain bike. With its 460 watt electric motor and a battery charge up to one hour of total ride time, the bike can start hydroplaning in open water from a full stop within 15 pedal strokes. For more than seven years in the making, this e-bike hydrofoil hybrid is now on sale at $8,990. Meet Bisky. Powered by a 55 horsepower twin cylinder engine, this weird looking scooter can do things no other motorcycle can on a surface no other motorcycle can go on. It can reach an impressive 125 kilometers per hour on land and 60 kilometers per hour on water. With just a push of a button, the Bisky converts itself into a jet ski powered by a jet propulsion system at the back in just five seconds. Bisky is created by a New Zealand-based company, Gibbs Amphibians, which specializes in amphibious vehicles that can reach high speeds on both land and water alike. Introducing Cargon an award-winning stylish electric cargo bike that you can cycle smoothly and quickly through daily traffic. Uniting technology, functionality and craftsmanship, Cargon was able to win several international design awards. Equipped with a special child door, its strong box can accommodate two children plus a baby. Cargon is powered by Bosch Motor and it can go up to 25 kilometers per hour.
This is Stroke, an electric cargo trike designed by the Japanese company Envision. With its large cargo area in the middle of the bike surrounded by the frame, the Stroke trike becomes more stable as the cargo weight increases, unlike many other cargo bikes whose storage baskets are attached at the front or rear. Stroke can be customized to include an open basket or make it usable as a food delivery vehicle or even to carry a baby and pets. Meet the Scorpion Hoverbike. Although it looks horribly dangerous with its exposed propellers spinning close to the rider, this Russian-built motorcycle-styled hoverbike has already been sold to the Dubai Police Force and it is also available for pre-orders to anyone at $150,000. Powered by a hybrid lithium manganese nickel battery, the bike has a flight time of between 10 and 25 minutes depending on the weather and the weight of the pilot. It has a maximum speed of up to 96 kilometers per hour and it can safely fly up to 5 meters. Introducing the Lazarus LMV 496, the world's first operational prototype flying motorcycle. While on the road, the LMV 496 is powered by an electric motor capable of providing a range of 100 kilometers. Each of its four wheels acts as 96,000 RPM JetCat jet turbines. When the bike is switching to flight mode, its wheels rotate to a horizontal position, turning the motorcycle into a quadcopter that can fly a couple of meters high. Only five prototypes of this bike were initially built and they are on sale with a $500,000 price tag. What bike invention did you like from this video? Please let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Digital Side View Monitors Lexus, the luxury division of Toyota, introduced the world's first digital side view monitors in 2018. Similar to their traditional counterparts, these monitors provide views of the rear, left, and right of the car. Unlike a pair of typical mirrors, however, they are all digital. The system works by using cameras to replace conventional side view mirrors. When driver engages the reverse gear or uses turn indicators, the camera automatically delivers extended view that eliminates blind spot and therefore helps driver make safer maneuvers. Visibility at night also is much better compared to actual mirrors. Hudley Wireless in case your car doesn't have such a futuristic display projected onto the windscreen and you are craving for the technology, but the budget is just not there yet, the Hudley Wireless can be the answer. Started as Kickstarter and Indiegogo campaigns, Hudley Wireless is a standalone device that can wirelessly connect to your smartphone and mirror whatever image on the screen. The idea is to let you see navigational app on your windscreen so that you don't have to take your eyes off the road. But the system also allows you to project other contents including photos and videos. CarAid 
When someone mentioned multi-tools, one thing that comes across your mind is a Leatherman or anything popularly known as a Swiss Army knife. There is another type of multi-tool strong enough to crack open a car window. It is called car aid. This multi-tool is actually pretty big, but it has to be that way because there is an 8,000 milliamp hour battery inside, powerful enough to jumpstart your car. As long as it has at least 50% of charge left, Car Aid can revive struggling car's battery in seconds. Since this is a multi-tool, you have other things concealed neatly into the solid metal cylindrical shape, including a hammer, seatbelt cutter, SOS flasher, compass, burglar alarm, USB charger, and of course, a 755 feet flashlight. AutoVox Solar Wireless Backup Camera AutoVox is the world's first smart parking device. Even if your car is not solar powered, at least the backup camera inside is. It can be installed easily with the use of only two security screws with no need for wiring, and automatically launches when it senses your car backing up to prevent any accidents. The solar wireless backup camera from AutoVox comes equipped with a 2800 milliamp hour battery, which will automatically recharge each time it is exposed to direct sunlight. The kit comes with a 5 inch monitor, suction cup, charger cables, remote control, and user manual, in addition to the camera itself. ROAV Viva Pro USB ports attached to your car 12 volt power outlet have never been truly high tech beyond fast charging and multiple compatibilities until the ROAV Viva Pro. More than just an adapter, this dongle comes with Alexa support, meaning it can recognize your voice and command your phone to do a lot of things. The dongle functions as a microphone and status indicator. Once connected to your phone via the Roa Viva app installed on your Android or iPhone, the dongle can operate the phone to access maps, open the browser, play music, make phone calls, send texts, and just about everything else you ask. And of course, you can use the features while recharging your phone at the same time. Ford Locking Wheel Nut Back in January 2020, Ford began working with an industrial 3D printing provider, EOS, to build locking nuts. Now that may sound like a wasteful idea until you realize that the intention is to analyze driver's voice and turn it into a biometric identification in order to create the physical pattern of vehicle locking lug nuts. The pattern is then 3D printed using corrosion and acid-resistant stainless steel. Once the identification process is completed, driver can obtain a kit filled with a set of wheel nuts and specialized tool to screw and unscrew them. This should protect alloy wheels from theft and help reduce insurance premiums. Thinkware U1000 Dashcam technology has been here for a while. It is a video recording device installed on a car and often equipped with driver assistance warning systems, such as collision warning and lane departure alerts, among others. Many brands are available in the market. In case you were looking for an absolute best in terms of video quality but without additional screen that may cause distractions while driving, the Thinkware U1000 should fit the bill well. It comes with built-in GPS and Wi-Fi connectivity for location, speed data, and camera alerts. But most importantly, the device records in a sharp 4K video quality through its 150-degree lens. You can also add an optional rear camera that shoots in lower but still crisp nonetheless 2K resolution. And that with wide dynamic range and enhanced night vision, then you can have feature-packed non-nonsense dash cam. Zeus Smart Vehicle Health Monitor as the name suggests, the Smart Vehicle Health Monitor from Zeus is able to detect and analyze car performance on the go. 
The device is connected to the car's OBD2 data link connector. Simply hit scan on your smartphone app and the Zeus will scan your vehicle for any issues. The vehicle health monitor uses its own predictive algorithm to diagnose common issues based on engine error codes. It can even pull up video tutorial on how to repair the issue. The device must be connected to iPhone or Android phone to work. Thiai CarView 3 one thing that makes the Thiai CarView 3 different than most dash cams is the screen. Instead of using a typical square frame screen attached to the windscreen, there is a 10-inch IPS touchscreen that looks like a traditional rearview mirror. In fact, you can secure it nicely over the actual rearview mirror. At the back of the screen, you get a camera with 170-degree lens that records 2.5K resolution video. The rear camera, wired to the screen, also uses a wide-angle lens but it records 1080p footage. The camera is IP67 water-resistant, so you don't have to worry about rain. Recordings from both the front and rear cameras can be displayed side-by-side -side on the screen. RapidX X5 Plus At a glance, the X5 Plus from RapidX is like any typical car charger you see in convenience store. It has multiple ports and plugs directly into car's 12-volt port. What makes the X5 Plus a little bit different from competitors in the market is how it comes with a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 port for fast charging, a Type-C USB port, and three standard USB ports. The set is comprised of two devices. One is the actual plug-in USB charger, and another is an extension connected by 5-foot-long wire designed for passengers. It does offer the convenience of being able to recharge multiple devices simultaneously, while avoiding wire clutter in your car. Mobileye 8 Connect If you are familiar with built-in or third-party car satellite navigation, you should find no problem using Mobileye 8 Connect. To be precise, the system is not actually a digital map in the sense that it displays which route to take for you to get from point A to B, but it constantly scans the road ahead and acts as an advanced driver assistance system. There are three devices in total, camera unit mounted behind the rearview mirror, GPS unit on the lower corner of passenger side windscreen, and a small display on the driver's side. They work together to give you audio and visual alerts in case the system detects risk of accidents, such as driving above the speed limit, making lane change without turn indicators, and unsafe distance to the vehicle ahead. Mobileye 8 Connect also collects data about weather events, road markings, traffic lights, and construction areas along the way. Over-the-air updates will keep the system relevant to current road conditions and help drivers stay safe. Zeus Smart Wireless Backup Camera in case you want to use your phone as a monitor to see what's behind your car when parking or reversing, Zeus also makes smart wireless backup camera for that. The installation is very easy. It does not require drilling or wiring. You can install it in your license plate in just five minutes. The system works by pairing the camera with your phone via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You need to download the Zeus app for the camera and phone to sync properly. The camera itself is 2 megapixel lens and a 170 degree viewing angle.
Columbia Free. Have you ever noticed that most cars for street cleaning are bulky, noisy, not too effective, and also very harmful to the environment? Fortunately, specialists from the Finnish company Trombia Technologies have thought about this problem. That's why they decided to create more modern, more efficient, and greener cleaning vehicles. Take a look at Trombia Free. This is an electric street sweeper, which works both silently and completely independently. It's incredibly energy efficient, too. It consumes about 15% of the energy used by traditional street sweepers today. Thanks to this, the device can work for 4 to 8 hours without interruption. The speed is reduced on purpose, it's just 8 km per hour. While it works, the machine analyzes the space around it to bypass obstacles and keep people, animals, and other vehicles safe. The working width is 2.2 meters. Trombia Free removes all garbage on its way, from large waste and branches to small stones, dust, and dirt particles. The developers claim that their invention is about 15 times more cost-effective than conventional street sweepers. Snow Lion Icebreaker However, even the best cleaning machine can't remove a layer of frost on the streets. This is particularly difficult, so specialized equipment is used, like this crusher from the American company Snow Lion. It works along with another vehicle and looks like a roller with spikes. By rotating, it crushes the ice into small particles, which are then very easily removed. At the same time, the spikes are soft enough not to damage the road surface. Snow Lion's icebreaker is an effective way to keep roads clean and tidy without using harmful chemicals or salt. This in turn makes it possible to repair roads less often. The manufacturer offers four models for different situations. One is more suitable for hard ice and severe frost, another for soft ice, the third one for ice covered with a layer of snow. The number of spikes, respectively, varies from 18 to 120. The working width depends on the number of rollers used. Their width is 43 and a half centimeters. Stark Relax. Needless to say, the bigger the streets, the more difficult it is to clean. So, workers need to use serious, professional, and huge equipment. Meet Relax, a grader blade from the Finnish brand Stark. They are used along with large tractors. They efficiently remove compacted snow and ice. The blades bite into the snow, loosening it and then moving it. It's noteworthy that the pressure on the treated surface changes depending on the working angle. The working width can be 2.6 or 3 meters, depending on the model. The manufacturer has added a unique safety feature, too. If the blades collide with a hard obstacle, the tool lifts to overcome the obstacle. This protects the equipment from damage. By the way, in the summer, when there's no snow, it can be used to level gravel roads. Kirsten FKM60 We would like to believe that in the future, all cleaning machines will work autonomously. But we're still in the present, so let's take a look at the latest models of more traditional machines. All the more so because they're becoming more and more perfect every year. The FKM60 from the British company Kirsten is a maneuverable sweeper that works along with agricultural tractors and loaders. With a brush diameter of 60 centimeters, the sweeper is lightweight, doesn't consume too much fuel, but at the same time, it can easily remove large and heavy garbage. The working width varies depending on... BA series. 
Look out, you shouldn't approach this machine while it's working. You don't want to get covered with dirty snow from head to toe, right? The BA series is a snowplow offered by the American company Warsaw. The main advantage of the machine is its high working speed. It moves over the snow and collects it with a rotating device. From there, the snow is fed to the nozzle, which throws it aside, at a distance of 22 to 38 meters. This parameter depends on the density of snow. The BA series is ideal for clearing roads, as it allows to quickly remove the snow from the roadside. The diameter of the rotor, and therefore the working width, is 1.9 meters. Lasky VD500P So, we now know which are the best machines to work with snow and frost. It's time to talk about another problematic time of the year. It is, of course, autumn. After all, trees in green cities drop about 100,000 tons of leaves every autumn on average. This garden vacuum cleaner on a wheeled chassis, the VD500P from the Czech company Lasky, can help with that. The machine has a compact size, it weighs only 390 kilograms, and it's very easy to transport. At the same time, it can remove a large amount of leaves in a short time. The suction speed is up to 108 cubic meters of plant debris per minute. The Lasky VD500P works along with a truck to store the leaves. The pipe length is 6 meters, allowing the operator to stay away from the road. The long handle also allows working in a comfortable standing position. Tenax Max Wind Hydro The next machine was designed for sidewalk maintenance in the warm season. It works with water to wash roads. This is the Max Wind Hydro model from the Italian company Tenax. The advantage of the equipment is that it's versatile and offers the operator a lot of possibilities. The main function is washing the sidewalk. Water is sprayed from five nozzles at high pressure, effectively washing away dirt, dust and waste. The washing width is 90 centimeters. The speed of movement is up to 8 kilometers per hour. The second mode is designed for work in hard to reach places. It involves the use of a hose with a spray head to thoroughly clean surfaces. The video shows how the equipment can be used to quickly clean around a garbage can. The Max Wind Hydro is 100% electric and has a battery life of 8 to 10 hours. There are two water tanks, each with a capacity of 105 liters. An additional advantage is the 5-litre disinfectant tank that allows workers not only to wash surfaces, but to disinfect them too. Drive-in boat wash, big wash. As you know, not only roads need cleaning, but also vehicles. Nevertheless, we're not talking about personal cars, which are pretty easy to wash. We're going to talk about a system that allows you to quickly clean small motorboats. It is the perfect device to end our video. This is a big wash from the Swedish company Drive-In Boat Wash. All you need to do is park the boat inside the booth. The cleaning procedure takes literally 15 minutes. Note that the hull cleaning has a positive effect on the sailing qualities, increasing not only the speed, but also fuel efficiency. Also, regular cleaning doesn't allow the bottom to get covered with plaque, which can only be removed with harmful chemicals that damage the paint and harm the environment. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, abbreviated DARPA, or the Office of Advanced Research Projects of the United States Department of Defense, was established in 1958, almost immediately after the launch of the USSR's Sputnik 1. 
The realization that the Soviets were about to launch not only satellites, but also missiles into space encouraged the United States government to take notice. The result was the creation of a unique agency with a huge budget, which could be spent at its own discretion. Check out our selection of the most unexpected, strange, and advanced projects in the field of technology and artificial intelligence from DARPA in this one video. DARPA's mission is to create innovative defense technologies. The agency's projects range from space-based missile shields to cyborg insects. At the same time, the internet, the first computer mouse, GPS, robot vacuum cleaners, and for example, Siri were created. The uniqueness of DARPA is that by investing in the project, it does not seek to take a share in the capital, but only stimulate the development of technology and looks to where it will lead us. The first significant success of the agency was ARPANET, which laid the foundation of modern internet. In 1969, with the help of this computer network, the first message was transferred between computers in California and Stanford universities. Although then, only two of the five letters of the message managed to transfer. But on January 1st of 1983, the network became the first in the world to switch to data packet routing. As a routed protocol was developed by order of DARPA, the IP protocol, which is still basic for data transmission on the internet today. In 1964, Charles Rosen, head of the Stanford Research Institute Artificial Intelligence Center, proposed the creation of an intelligent automatic machine for the Advanced Research Department. The grant was approved and it was assumed that the developed robot would be able to work as a scout or a patrol officer. This is how the shaky robot came into being. According to the description, it could recognize its own environment, derive implicit facts from explicit ones, create plans, and recover from mistakes in a planned execution and also understand orders written in plain English. The robot was equipped with video cameras, collision sensors, and a rangefinder. Communication with the control computer was carried out via radio. Shaky software architecture, computer vision, navigation, and planning techniques proved to be fundamental to robotics and web server development, video game creation, and Mars rovers. Autonomous robots, like self-driving vehicles, were one of the first and main goals of DARPA. To stimulate their development, the agency launched the Strategic Computing Initiative in the 1980s and allocated billions of dollars to it. The goal was to develop artificial intelligence techniques in multiple fields. Among the results, there are first autonomous cars and the first quadruple-legged walking robot by Boston Dynamics. Modern unmanned vehicles date back to a series of robotic races, which DARPA sponsored in the early 2000s to stimulate the development of this technology. And in 2004, out of all the applicants for the prize of $1 million, only one managed to pass a modest 12 kilometers of the planned 240 kilometer race. Later in 2005, the entire distance was able to be covered by five cars at once. In 2007, DARPA held another race, but this time with a prize of $2 million. The self-driving cars had to drive through the city, observing rules of the road, and interacting with each other at intersections. It was DARPA that sponsored the development of the first four Boston Dynamics Big Dog Robots, presented in 2005. The robot, measuring 91 by 76 centimeters and weighing 110 kilograms, was able to move at speeds of 6.5 kilometers per hour and carry a load of 150 kilograms, as well as climbing a mountain with a slope at a 35 degree angle. The project cost DARPA $42 million, but was eventually closed because the robot was incredibly noisy. Nevertheless, Big Dog became the basis for the creation of both the Robot Spot and the Atlas Robot. By the way, the robot was not the last development of Boston Dynamics for DARPA. All of the robots of the company, including those created for military purposes, we showed previously in a video. A link to that is now in the card above. Very unusual developments were and are among the agency's projects. For example, the Energy Autonomous Tactical Robot Program was aimed at creating robots that could feed on plants to independently replenish energy right where they would need to be working. Or the Engineering Living Materials Program, 
aimed at creating self-heating building materials with the development of 3D printing of organs and tissues. DARPA hopes to use similar technology to create hybrid materials that can form and support the growth of artificially created cells. These materials are able to be grown locally using already available resources. The Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical Systems Spy Beetle Project in 2006 looked crazy. In 2009, the engineers even presented a prototype transmitter for cyborg insects. But judging by the fact that in 2018, the agency announced the beginning of the development of miniature robots to manage insects in the right quantities did not work. The new program SHRIMP for short-ranged independent micro-robotic platforms and the robots developed within it will be related to the smallest types of these mechanisms, just the size of insects. The robots will be fast and maneuverable enough to jump, fly, and lift objects and perform terrain analysis. And these will not be the only bio-inspired robots from DARPA. Recently, the agency announced that next year it will present a completely finished robot worm, which will be able to tunnel at speeds of 10 centimeters per second. For the project Underminer project, $2.5 million has already been allocated. The tunnels will be needed to quickly create tactical paths when fighting in cities and megacities. One of the important projects of DARPA was the Systems-Based Neurotechnology for Emerging Therapies program, designed to create implantation, diagnostic, and therapeutic closed-cycle systems for the treatment of psychoneurological diseases. Essentially, the program wants to create a brain implant that will help soldiers fight post-traumatic stress disorder and other problems. Interestingly enough, when DARPA began working on the neurointerfaces, it said it would create a chip that would allow the military to control combat robots and drones with only the power of thought. One way or another, the work on the brain chip continues. Another key area of DARPA's project is the creation of robotic pilots and artificial intelligence capable of controlling aircrafts and helicopters, including combat ones. Thus, at the end of the year, the final test of the alias technology on Sikorsky UH-60M Black Hawk helicopters are able to be held. The test program will have remote and autonomous missions. Alias systems consist of a robotic pilot voice interface and software. In order to install Alias on any Blackhawk from the U.S. Army's fleet, only LiDAR and cameras are needed. The Artificial Intelligence Training System, which in the future will be able to take control of a combat aircraft and conduct close air combat maneuvers developed by DARPA, is called the Air Combat Evolution. It was for its development that the recent neural network algorithms were tested with the Virtual Air Combat Alpha Dogfight Trials. Remember, in the course of these, artificial intelligence managed to defeat a professional pilot of the U.S. Air Force with a crushing score of 5-0. to zero. The new neural network systems will have to control the fighter and flight faster and more efficiently than a man is capable of doing. It will be tested on a real plane in 2024. The preparation of the fighter for this event has already begun. Autonomous vehicle technology is of interest to DARPA, not only in the air, but also on water. Just the other day, the agency announced it was ready to conclude contracts for supply of long-range uncrewed ships in three private companies within the framework of the Sea Train program. The goal is to overcome the range limit for sea drones by reducing wave resistance. After overcoming the necessary distance, the drones will separate to perform their tasks and on the way back, form back into a train. Also, at the expense of drones, the U.S. intends to soon increase the number of its fleets to 355 ships. This was recently announced by the U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper. He also reported on the demonstration of a prototype underwater drone Echo Voyager from Boeing and the Sea Hunter surface vehicle developed by DARPA. Apparently, they will join the ranks of the United States Navy. Another global goal of DARPA is the creation of swarm intelligence. That is the use of groups of robots to perform complex tasks. As a part of this project, Researchers from Buffalo University recently received more than 300,000 to study the brain impulses and eye movements of gamers. The goal of this is to improve the organization and strategy of the autonomous air and ground robots through a new training method. These robots will be trained by an algorithm that should process the information collected by scientists, and it will help understand how gamers operate in some of the unexpected situations, what they pay attention to, and how they operate, and what these actions lead to. The research of robots is conducted by DARPA in two other directions. The first is the Offset Project, the development of software that will combine various ground robots and unmanned aircrafts into one group. 
the robots in the group must be able to solve one or more tasks together using more than 100 tactical options. The second direction is the Squad X project. It involves the introduction of drones, robots, and sensors on the battlefield to maximize a soldier's awareness of their current situation as well as other tasks. DARPA has already tested the program through a week-long exercise, during which United States Marines use drones and robots to coordinate their movements and detect potential threats in the field. The information from the sensors was processed by artificial intelligence systems and only then passed on to the military. This is probably how battle scenarios of the future are going to look. It's impossible not to mention that thanks to DARPA, the whole world was able to enjoy a spectacle of human-like robot races at the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Videos of the epic robot fails of various designs quickly became a hit on YouTube. And although it was very funny, we shouldn't forget to thank these types of events. Robotics are developing, and today we can see the results of this with smart robots like Atlas. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share this video with friends, and definitely do not miss any new releases from Pro Robots. Walk Wing Have you ever dreamed of walking much faster than normal, or being able to move at a great speed when you're walking down the street or going light? Walk Wing is an amazing invention that offers these opportunities. Pay attention to the open look with lots of straps. All you have to do to use the Walk Wing is put your feet with your shoes inside. While creating this unusual device, the developers thought a lot about how to create an advanced but comfortable product. The result is a device with retractable wheels. This means that even if you're wearing the walk wing, you don't have to skate. The switch between walking and skating is made with a single movement of the hand. By the way, it only takes a few seconds to install the product. You can buy a walk wing for a minimum price of $90. Fun Shell We could talk for a long time about the benefits of backpacks. For a long time, it was thought that the traditional design of backpacks simply couldn't be better. But the Fun Shell backpack is here to prove the opposite. It's not hard to guess its key feature. It's a foldable cover. However, to use it, you'll have to wait for a rainy or very sunny day. It opens in seconds, and you don't even have to take off the backpack. Another feature is hidden in the back part. At the push of a small button, a powerful fan starts working. It should be noted that, despite the extended functionality, this backpack perfectly fulfills its main task, storing and transporting things. The changes hardly affected the capacity. The manufacturer offers several models, at a price ranging from $55 to $169. They all have plenty of spacious pockets, and all the components of the backpack are waterproof. Poncho. The product you see on the screen is a collaboration between Nike and the American sculptor Tom Sachs. The product is part of the fourth joint collection, which was launched as part of the Nike Craft project. The parachutes were the inspiration for the Poncho design. The designer looked at its compact construction and discovered how to use this mechanism for the benefit of ordinary people. The end result was an exploding Poncho that fits in a fanny pack. The material used is high-strength Dyneema fabric. Iguanai Jungle When the Portuguese company Iguanai was working on their new shoes, they thought about how much modern man is surrounded by borders and limits. Literally, 
We're constantly surrounded by walls and divisions, and most of the time we're dressed in clothes and shoes. The part of our body that suffers the worst are our feet, which tire and sweat locked up inside the tight shoes. No wonder we all like to wear flip-flops when possible. Jungle is the next generation of flip-flops of the future. They allow the feet to breathe, but at the same time protect them optimally. They're only fastened in two places, around the heel and on the big toe. However, jungle attaches firmly to the foot and does not slip away. Surprisingly, this pair of shoes is suitable for all occasions. You can run, play different sports, walk on asphalt, dirt, sand or stones. Jungle offers a high level of comfort and safety everywhere. The manufacturer offers two models, light and luxe. They cost $60 and $85 respectively. The difference lies in the material of which the shoes are made. Threadsmith's Clothes It's time to talk about clothes that everyone can benefit from. Australian company Threadsmith's offers shirts and t-shirts with a unique feature. They repel water and any other liquid. These clothes will definitely help to avoid sauce or drink stains. In addition, the fabric from which all clothes are made does not absorb odors. The most difficult task was to make the clothing waterproof while keeping the fabric soft and breathable. However, the Threadsmiths team did their job perfectly. Today, the company offers a large number of models. The price ranges from $50 to $400. Posh Galosh Overboots Bad weather often stands in the way of our plans. This is true for all aspects of life. However, right now we're talking about cases when rain, snow and hail prevent us from wearing our most beautiful shoes. Posh galosh overboots were created primarily for women who have to leave their favorite heels at home. However, we're sure that this invention will protect any shoe, regardless of who wears it. Simply put, Posh is a shoe cover for walking the streets. On the outside, it's made of a durable, water-resistant synthetic material. On the inside, they have a soft nylon lining and are pleasant to the touch. Their insoles are absolutely flat, so they're comfortable to wear over any shoe, whether it's a high-heeled shoe or a sneaker. The heel area has an additional protective insert to prevent the heel from puncturing the fabric. The top of the product is very wide, so that you can put it on even over bulky shoes. Posh is fastened to the leg with elastic straps. When folded, the overboots take up almost no space and can be stored in the carry bag. The price of the product is $120. Aros. The next piece of clothing we have on our list will be especially useful for people who spend a lot of time on the road. Aros is a special hoodie with an air pillow inside. That is, it's a hoodie for sleeping. When you put the hood on your head and inflate the pillow, you get optimal support for your head and neck. The hoodie makes it easier to sleep on public transport, in the car and even on the floor if, for example, you're on a picnic. When the pillow deflates, the hoodie just becomes a stylish garment. Aros can be bought for $70. Polar Seal Clothes If you live in a country with cold weather, what we'll say next won't be news to you. Sometimes, even a heating system doesn't prevent you from feeling cold. Fortunately, the Chinese company Polar Seal has found a way out of this situation. The brand offers clothes that will allow you to forget about the feeling of cold forever. 
It is clothing with a built-in heating system. The company offers a wide variety of clothing, from t-shirts and tops to jackets, vests and parkas. The price, of course, varies greatly. For a t-shirt, you'll have to pay about $150. A jacket will cost about $660. It's not cheap, but it seems to us that keeping warm and comfortable when it's freezing is worth it. Clothes support three heating modes, 40, 45, and 50 degrees Celsius. The fabric is made up of five layers. The heating layer is in the middle, so the clothes won't burn your skin. The heating process starts with the push of a button, and the heat can be felt after 10 seconds.